Hi, we're BSN senior students from the University of Toledo in the nursing program. We're getting ready to graduate this spring, and we're going to talk to you today about how to read arterial blood gases, otherwise known as ABGs. So, a little trick that we did to kind of help was color code. And as I'm going through the numbers, I'll kind of teach you why we did that. The first thing is pH. We did that red because pH is very important. It's the first thing you want to look at when you get your ABGs. So pH, normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. And sorry, but there's no way to get around not memorizing these. You have to memorize these numbers. So our carbon dioxide we did black because if it's not within these limits of 35 to 45, it's very bad. So black, bad. So a good way to memorize these two is that we have 35 to 45, pH is 0.35 to 0.45. So that kind of helps you relate those numbers a little bit. So our bicarb, we did green. And the reason we did green is because it's from your kidneys, kind of inside the gut, green. So 22 to 26 is our normal for bicarb. And our oxygen is 80 to 100. That's just a normal vital sign that you should know. So next we're going to help you kind of determine steps on how to read ABG. Okay. So. The first step in determining ABGs is um, you have to look at the pH um, because that determines whether or not it's acidotic or alkalotic. So if it's less than 7.35, it's acidotic, and if it's greater than 7.45, it's alkalotic. Your next step would be to determine your carbon dioxide. Basically, you will figure out if it's a respiratory issue or not if the level is out of normal range. If it's greater or less than 35 to 45 is a respiratory issue. Then your third issue, your third step, if it's not a respiratory issue, then you need to look at your bicarb because um, if your bicarb is not within normal limits, that means it's a metabolic issue. So, next we're gonna demonstrate how to read <laughs> Yep. And uh, another way to remember if it's respiratory or metabolic is looking at Rome. The R stands for respiratory, which the arrows will be opposite. And if it's metabolic, the arrows will be equal. And for an example of that, so you actually understand what I'm talking about, I'm going to practice ABG. So this patient, um, their pH is 7.30. So if you go up here, you can see that it's less than 7.35, which means it's acidotic. Then the PaCO2 is 42. We know that is within the normal limit. And then you look at your bicarb, and obviously it's not a respiratory issue, so 22 to 26 is normal bicarb, so it is a metabolic issue. And like I said with Rome, you can see with the arrows, this one goes down, this one is down, so they're equal, which means it's a metabolic issue. Okay, so let's look at a respiratory issue. All right, the pH is 7.50, which means it's high in some alkalosis issue. Next, you can look at your carbon dioxide, and you can see the normal level is 35 to 45, so obviously this is low, which means it's a respiratory issue. But just to double check yourself, yourself you should still check your bicarb which the normal is 22 to 26, so that's within normal limit. Hmm. And like I said, another double check. You can look at Rome again. The arrows are opposite, and that means it's a respiratory problem. We're telling you a lot of ways to double check because it gets confusing when you're at the floor looking at ABGs or even on tests. You can get confused with arrows. And then again, it's extremely important to remember your normal ranges.